Yo, yo, yo. What up, everybody? You know who it is? It's not your insider. It's your outsider. It's your boy. The outsider, Sammy G. You know what today is. You know what we're in for. You know the treat that we have in store for us. It's preseason. Now, I ain't really excited about the second half, but I'm sure excited about the first half. Because you know what it is. They have finally unleashed the beast. They've unleashed Trey Lance. It's, it's too late. It's too late. They've already said it. He's playing the first half. He's playing the first half, and I'm excited. It's going to be Trey Area all over again. It's going to be Trey Area. I expect nothing less than Trey Area. I expect... This is what I expect out of Trey. I expect... Uh... I expect back turns in the defense. I expect plays being extended. I want the ball being pushed down the field. I want him just doing it all. And what I don't want him doing, Kyle, Shanahan, Bananahan, I don't want you, please, 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 do not run him up the middle. Please. That's all I ask. And Trey, please, Trey, if he, if he runs you up the middle, if he calls that play, you audible it, and you do the exact opposite. You do not run up the middle. Because it... Uh, he, no. No. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Now, we know Trey's starting, right? In the first half. The real... Uh, question is, can he take the starting job? We're just going to make it simple. He can't. He lo- he can't. Coming from a fan, fan, a big fan of Trey Lance, he can't take the starting job. So let's not even talk about that. Let's not get me all riled up. He can't take the starting job. There's no point in talking about it. They've made their mind up. But what he can do in the, in the preseason, this preseason game matters. What he can do is he can separate himself from Sam Darnold. Because they're trying to make this a backup quarterback competition, which is stupid. He needs to separate himself from Sam Darnold and put himself closer to Brock to where there can be those discussions of, well, he is playing like this. He's you know, he had three touchdowns in the first half. You know what I'm saying? He, he has to play good. If he comes out there, if Trey comes out there, fumbles and throws interceptions, it might that just might be it for Trey. And not not like it might, like he's done, but like it's gonna be hard for him to redeem himself because they're gonna for sure go with Brock now. They're like, oh, he can't even play in a preseason game. Yeah, let's just go with Brock. You know, so can't take the starting job, but he can't hurt himself from getting closer to the starting job. All right. Now, let's talk about the man, the myth, the legend, Debo Samuel and his redemption arc, the redemption arc of Debo Samuel. Can he replicate what he has done two years ago? Can he have that all-pro season? We're about to find out. We're gonna, we're really gonna find out. Is he was he worth the money this year? Because he gets utilized the most out of this team. The way we use Debo and how we use him, we utilize him the most, right? Now, see, you know, I'm like, like Ayuk, you know, he's good, but it's like Ayuk's not really utilized on this team as like, you know, like. A first, a passing first team like he would be on like the Bills, you know? Ayuk would be so much better if he was on the Bills, you know what I mean? But as far as Debo, we utilize him to his full capabilities. So it's like, we're going to see. There should be no excuses, right? He's in shape now. He has his contract. Should be no excuses. I want to see that Debo Samuel redemption. Because if we have Debo at 100% playing like how he played, he pretty much carried us that last season. To get us almost to the Super Bowl. It just tore me apart seeing how sad he was when we just lost it. Um, yeah. So I think this is the Debo Redemption Act year. We need it. Come on, Debo. We need you. 19 problems. We need 19 problems back. 19 problems. Come on. So, Debo uh, Samuel Redemption Arc starts now. And, yeah. So can't wait for that. Next on the list. Is this Brandon Ayuk's breakout year? Now I know. I said Brandon Ayuk isn't 
really being utilized to his full capabilities, but he still gets a lot of yards. He still, and from the looks of it, he's the number one target for the 49ers, right? So, I think so, you know? Definitely not because I'm a Niners fan, but I really think so. I think he easily gets over 1,000 yards this year, easily, you know? And that's with all the weapons on this team. The way Brandon Ayuk carries himself and, like, how professional he is and how he's just, he has that dog mentality. You can't stop this dude. He's a dog. So, B.A., breakout year, confirmed. Redemption arc, Debo Samuel, confirmed. Starts the day. Now, it sucks because when, tr- like, man, if Trey was a starting QB, just seeing how, I would love some, like, I don't know, like, you guys let me know what you think. Because it's like, I, I, I'm kind of tired of the dinking and dunking. I want to see those long throws. Like how the Chiefs do, the Bills do. I love those plays. Because when you're behind and you're trailing, those are the plays that you need. You need those big plays to come back in games, you know? I don't know. I We've just had Jimmy for so long, and I'm, I'm just kind of... I'm done with the Duncan, the Dinkin and Duncan. I want the long pack passes, the long throws, you know? Can the 49ers start out hot? It's been a serious problem for them, and there's been a lot of concerns. Like, can Kyle get his team ready for the year? Can they start out hot week one? Can they come out the gate like they did 2019? Because that seems like that's what it was. That's how they ended up getting to that Super Bowl. They started out hot. They ended up getting the number one seed, right? Having that bye week and just everything played out perfectly besides the Super Bowl, of course, right? So that's going to be the key. Can they do it? Absolutely. Absolutely. With this schedule, dude, I don't I don't see why not. They literally, Let's see. Let's see how they play week one. Uh, week one. They play the Steelers at home or in Pittsburgh. There should be no reason why they don't beat that team. Steelers are up and coming, but they're definitely not as good as us. You know what I mean? And then they play the Rams. Should definitely win that game. The Giants will be a little tougher, but we play them at home. We should definitely win that game. So that's three wins right there. That's a hot start. So 49ers should have no reason why. They don't get off to a hot start. So, I'm hoping. Hoping at least they win the, the first, like, four out of the five games, right? That's what I'm hoping. And they very well could. Because, I mean, Giants are, look, look like that's really their only problem for the first, like, five games. Because Carlin's isn't going to be a problem. Rams aren't going to be a problem. Should be pretty easy. Um, Will this first preseason game tell it all, Right? I don't think it will tell at all, because I can't, because as far as the quarterbacks go, absolutely, right? It could absolutely tell at all, right? Because if he comes, right, Trey comes out there, he plays in, or he's not really on it, That's. It's really hard for you know, they're not they're already stuck on Brock. Kyle's literally called him like the guy, right? It's gonna be hard for him to come off that, right? So it's like he has to play good. If Trey has to play good. There's like no other way. If Trey plays bad, he's gonna be battling with Sam Darnold, and that's not a good thing at all. But I, I I don't expect nothing. I, I don't expect him not to play good, you know. I think Trey is a professional. He's going to be prepared, and he's going to play good, right? Now, a little early, but can the 49ers sweep the division? Like last year. Can they do it again? My... 
genuine answer, unbiased, it's going to be no. Right? The Rams should be good. The Cardinals should be good. But the Seahawks, I don't think they can sweep the Seahawks. They got Bobby Wagner back. I mean, Geno Smith's looking good. I'm, I'm going to say we lose at least one game to the Seahawks. We lose at least one. We lose, we lose at least one. But I don't think we sweep. We win the division, but we don't sweep the division. Right? And, yeah, so it's going to be hard. Man, I can't wait for them. I love them Seahawks and Niner battles. When we, like, last year with Brock, dude, oh, I loved it. Whenever we just battled at the Seahawks, we everybody was like, can Brock do it? Can Brock do it? Can he beat the Seahawks? I don't know. Probably not. And everybody was down in Brock, right? And everybody thinks I'm a Brock hater. I, I don't hate Brock. I love Brock, right? I love everybody on this team, right? I, it's just the cost that we gave up for Trey. I really want Trey to get a chance, you know. But if Tra if Brock's the starter and he actually deserves it, I have no complaints. No complaints if he deserves it and he outplays Trey. But if Trey's playing good in the preseason, right? Then they go into the regular season. Brock starts playing bad. I want Trey to get put in. I want him to get a chance to show like, hey, look, I'm here. You know what I mean? So. But yeah, whenever those talks are like, oh, Brock can't do it. And Brock just came in and just started balling. Then George Kittle was balling. Like, bro. That was probably like one of my most favorite. I love that game. Not favorite, most favorite game, but it was definitely, you know, up there. Now, if we're talking favorite games, this is so off track. But if we're talking favorite games, it's definitely that 2019 game versus the Saints. Jimmy G. Dude, that was the Jimmy G showcase right there crazy game. If, you, if you've never watched that game, Niners fan or not, if you've never watched the game against the Saints, you gotta watch the game. You gotta watch the game. And the last and final thing before the preseason starts, right? And we're gonna do a show, we're gonna, we're gonna do a live stream. Make sure you're ready, guys, because we're gonna do a live stream after the preseason game. We're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna break it down. Alright? So make sure you're there. The game will probably be done at 9, so I'll probably live stream at like 10 or 11. It will be a late live stream, you know, because there's going to be other people live streaming. So if you guys want to watch, like, Grant Cohn, all good. We'll wait to live stream, like, later, later at night, right? Can the 49ers succeed no matter who's at quarterback? And I say no. Absolutely not. It's going to have to be a guy that can play decently well. At least a Jimmy G level guy. Like if we put like a Sam Darnold out there, Brandon Allen, we're screwed. Because if that was the case, we would have beat the Eagles. So I'm gonna just keep it like that. Very very simple. If we could have succeeded, no matter who's at quarterback, we would have beat the Eagles with Josh Johnson. So I, it has to be at least a Jimmy G level QB, right? At least. So like a Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy's fine, but I don't not with just anybody because quarterback's a very important position, and that's what's holding us back. We don't got a lot down, but that was that was a little quick, you know, rundown of what my thoughts are, how I think Trey's gonna perform, what's gonna happen, can he take the starting job? We already know that probably not, but. At least he can get a little closer to, you know. It's going to be steps. He's going to have to play good in this preseason game. Do really good in another preseason game. It's going to be steps before you can get up to Brock. Because what Brock did was, it was pretty amazing, you know what I mean? For the last person in the draft to come in like that, win seven freaking games in a row, and just look like a straight dog out there. Like, you know, and Trey really hasn't done anything we know he has the capabilities of it, but we just haven't seen it. We've seen glimmers and shines of it, but we need to see. We need to see a little more out of him, and we need to see him win actual games, right? But it's gonna be a little hard now since Brock is on the team now, because Brock's probably gonna be the one being put into the games. But all good, as long as we're winning as a team. I'm all good, you know. That's the main thing, because we just. Gotta win those games, guys. Gotta win one game at a time. One game at a time. 
But I can't wait, guys. I know you guys can't wait. Preseason's back. We're back. Bang, bang, night of the game. It has been fun. You know who it is. It's not the inside of Sammy G. It's the outsider. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.